We all know just how important reapplying your sunscreen is throughout the day, even over makeup. And the best way to get the most coverage is of course using whatever sunscreen you put on your face in the morning, a sponge like this, dabbing it into your skin. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm not home, I don't usually carry one of these around with me and I really don't want to touch my face that much. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you a really easy way to reapply your sunscreen over makeup when you're outside of the house and you don't want to touch your face. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you are interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. In the past couple of years, there have been three different types of products created for you to reapply your sunscreen, especially over makeup throughout the day. This would be powder sunscreens, stick sunscreens, as well as face spray sunscreens. The unfortunate side is that the way that most people will apply these products on their face will not be enough coverage simply because, well, you need to apply a lot of this product in order to have coverage. And depending on which method you use, it can leave your skin looking really oily or it can leave your skin looking a little bit too dewy and you kind of just want to balance. So why not apply them together? My method of choice has been using a stick sunscreen alongside a spray or a stick sunscreen alongside a powder based on how you want your skin to look afterwards. Now, of course, this is not going to give you like 20 and 50 SPF. No, it's just going to give you the same amount of time, but it's going to give you a little bit more coverage on your face without losing the type of finish that you want on your skin. Definitely not a reapplication for at the beach, but I'm assuming you're driving home from work or from school and you want your skin to have a little bit of coverage before that sun goes down. The first thing I'll do is apply the stick all over my face. And I find these sticks don't really pick up that much foundation. Like you're not going to have it like revealing your skin or anything like that. I reapplied my foundation, my, um, my sunscreen today using this method and my makeup still looks pretty perfect if I do say so myself. So it's not going to it's not going to pick up too much of your foundation. So I'll go sideways like this, and then I will go downwards. So that gives me a little bit more coverage on my face. You can also use stick foundations over your eyes as well as your nose, you need to do that. And on your lips, if you don't have a sunscreen lip balm, you can use your sunscreen stick. Fun fact. Now you will inevitably notice that there's a little bit of foundation left on the stick. So I like to run it on my neck. I find that that cleans it off. And of course your neck needs that coverage from the sun too. And you'll find that the stick will be clear of foundation. If for whatever reason you don't want to put this on your neck, you can obviously use a tissue and just clean up the foundation from the stick. Sometimes I don't like to leave it like that. The best thing to do is to pat it into your face, but we're not touching our face. So if you have a travel makeup brush, I usually carry one just because I always do. I'll go ahead Head and blend in like the lines. So my smile lines and around my eyes, I'll just use the powder brush to buff it in. Then I'll take my sunscreen spray and spray that over my face. And I'm making sure to go in different directions. So this is of course, if you want your skin to look dewy, I don't have a powder sunscreen, but if you did, you could of course use the powder instead. You can use the powder after if you find your skin is too dewy as well with the face spray, it's up to you. Of course, here are some product recommendations. The sun stick that I'm currently using is the Chocobo Cotton Soft Sun Stick with SPF 50 P plus 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 but I've been really loving this one it's really good for mattifying your skin the ingredients in here are so nice I do find that this one would be really good for oily skin as it does leave your skin quite matte it has like this like powder finish so it looks like you're wearing a pressed powder but it doesn't feel like grainy. Another really great one I don't have, it's the Abib Sun Stick. I'm sure you've seen that everywhere. Everyone loves that stick. That one gives you more of a dewy finish to your skin. That's another really great one. For sprays, I currently have two that I've been testing. The first one is this Kula Classic Face Mist with SPF 50. Now I've been using this one for a few days now. I really do enjoy this one and I've been wearing it on my face as well today. This one does leave your skin quite dewy, so be mindful of that. Once it sets in, it's not that bad, but it will leave your skin quite dewy. This one is also broad spectrum, so wonderful for that. It's non-greasy, lightweight, it's hydrating with plant protection. And this one is actually cruelty-free, it's gluten-free, vegan, like all of that good stuff. And the second one is the Privacy UV Mist. This is a Korean sunscreen with SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 four pluses. And this one is really cool as well. Obviously the size is quite different. This one is completely in Korean, so I can't really read the 
the back of it at the moment, but I will do a review on these uh, products as well as I use them a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite products to reapply your sunscreen with. I'm definitely in the market for more. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.